Hello everyone, bearded brush, different video. I'm going to showcase a painting commission of my very good friend Kenny. Um, and just to, just to show, hopefully you can see this, Kenny created my first bearded brush t-shirt, so I'm now officially becoming one of those YouTubers. Don't worry, I'm not going to flog you in my rubbish, but this will just help promote me as my thing. Makes it look marginally more professional, apart from the fact I'm sat in my dining room. And I've got my baby stuff to the right of me and my other little girl's things on the left. Still very professional. So, I want to start doing a commission based thing. That is the plan. I've been planning on doing this for a very long time. But unfortunately, because of a disease, which I won't name, because I get sick of hearing about it. I'm sure you guys do as well. It sort of put me way out of sync. It's all gone, you know, wrong. Um, we have a house move eventually coming up, which is going to be fantastic as well. So that means I'm going to be able to broaden out a bit more. Got lots of plans in my head of what I'm going to do and hopefully can do. But to kickstart it, I hope, well, I will be doing commission painting. Um, and battle board building, I think I mentioned a video earlier in the year. I want to do battle boards, styrofoam, completely made. It's not going to be modular battle boards, it's going to be made boards with like rivers put in, hills, wire made trees, whatever you want, I will do at uh, a set price. It won't be super detailed because as much as I'd love to do that, I want to keep the affordability for you guys to pay to have it done. If that makes sense. You know, I, that sort of thing, sky's the limit. There's many very respectable, decent people out there that make these things. I'm not paying, I don't want to undercut them. That's not what I do. But I want to start off with very affordable prices to get myself into it to see how it works. And maybe it could become a full-time thing if, if you're bearing with me. Um, but obviously, if you want a super duper done job, you're gonna to have to go to those more established, well-known people out there that do such a thing because they can do such a good job. But I will show a video of what I can do, and if that's good enough, what you know, future customers and like, if you're watching this and they're interested in that, and you know what I can do so far, then that will be at a affordable price, I deem, um, and it can go from there. So yeah, that, that's that's the plan anyway. That's what I'm gonna do. It's just out of interest and things. But my good friend Kenny, I've done one commission last year. Was it last year, wife? It was the year before. And that's for a Nurgle Blood Bowl team. And he loved them. I loved painting them. I was going to get some good comments and likes out of and stuff as well. And a lot of people were interested in that. And that was kind of going to become the, the, the launch pad type of thing as it was a little bit as well back then, when it, before it all went wrong. But bless him, he's doing it again. He's... he's uh, Pay me an agreed uh, maid's rate fee, um, but I'm going full professional, so I've asked him to give me a a lowdown what he wants, because at first bless me, he sort of gave me some ideas of what he wants, said and go mad, and I said, tell you what, I want this really correct professionally. I said, so I want to know exactly like the colour schemes you want, do you have like a, like a, a winter type, uh, winter, a seasonal type thing. Um, apologies for the rumping in the background, that's the neighbours getting the bins, it's bin day today. Um, do you know, is there a seasonal theme to the bases? You know, any any themes to the models themselves? How do you want them to work out? Do, which models do you want to have more detail? Do you want them all just tabletop standard or just basic level painting? Any of them? Do you want them all to be super detailed or just certain ones detailed? So we went for all of that. He sent me back a message in a full customer style way, um, and I'm now going to work to a deadline, which is basically starting right now. So after this video has been done, I'll. Uh, I'll eventually upload it. I've already done another video previous to this, but it's the 1st of July today, basically. So once this video's been finished and you know done, I'm going to start working on these models. So I'm going to go for the base code process. I'm going to send him some picture updates on you know what's what and things, um, and work to his itinerary of what he'd like. Um, and I'm going to experiment with a painting process. How I normally paint is exactly how I'm going to paint my my friends order and going forward future customers hopefully because um, I appreciate how much people enjoy models how much they like their models and I also appreciate because I'm the same that people want models painted so they can use them rather than then be sat in boxes and piles of shame I don't see my pile of shame as a pile of shame I see it as a pile of awesome you know positive spin on things um, myself and my wife went through it yes last night actually and got an awesome bit of paper written out all the models we've got holy moly i've got a lot not as many as some people have some people have got rooms full of the stuff but mine is mainly all of the rings and there's plenty of it um so yeah that's that's basically where it's at so that's what i'm doing i work to it and basically my timeline 
that's what I was getting to. So my timeline was going to be a month, July. Um, obviously I work full time, I have two children, you know, my wife is uh, working as well. So you have lots to contend with more than not your more than your established full time painter. Um, this is for the time being going to be a part time thing, uh, depending how it goes. Um, and then, like I say, if it becomes a regular thing and that, then I can start looking at maybe going full time with it and it'll become a much more different process. Thoroughly strict deadlines of things, much more uh, detailed stuff with better cameras to work with, a whole like, photo miniature box set up so I can you know, take decent pictures to send to the customers. But anyway, so that's, that's the plan, that's that. And uh, I'm going to give you a showcase basically of my good friend's models that he wants me to paint. So these have all come from Grebo Games. I've mentioned Grebo before, and they are awesome models. They are really, really good models. The company I can't sing praises enough about. I've hardly bought anything off them myself, but my friend Kenny is a huge fan of them, and I've seen other reviews of Grebo stuff as well. And they are really good. The customer service is brilliant. You have any issues? They're quick to you know sort it. If you spend lots of money with them and stuff, they'll you know through like the Kickstarters and things. They will really invest their time and effort into you for the money that you're investing into them. So it's fantastic. So let's go for box one because it's been a while since Kenny actually showed me these. So it, to be quite honest, it's going to be a refresher for myself. So it looks like this is his star players and his uh, monsters and whatnot. This is all for Blood Bowl. This is a Blood Bowl commission type thing. So. I'll go for a quick rundown because obviously you guys don't want to be bored to tears, but this is more just for a bit of a fun progress thing. So we have a Yeti type character here. Um, hopefully you can see that okay. You've got stones on his back. Uh, he's, it, this is an awesome model. I may well start off with this model actually. Kenny's given me some ideas of how he wants it to be done. Um, hi Kenny, by the way. Uh, yeah, really good model, really cool. It's made from... Uh, Grebo Games new resin type stuff, type material. It feels very robust um, in comparison to other resins. This feels slightly stronger. Some of the other resins I've, I've worked with with other companies, not just the big company, but other companies as well, can feel a bit flimsy. Um, this feels quite robust, which is pretty cool. It's like a real uh, high detail type plastic, so that's pretty good. So that's that's the, the Yeti type character, like tro Ice Troll. We have a star player Amazonian female there wearing a wolf cloak. No, not Amazonian, sorry. No, she's Nord, isn't she? She's Nord, I believe. Uh, Blood Bowl fans out there would know far better than I would with this, but this is a Nordic. Um, sorry, I've got my wife assisting. Oh, there you go. Be, a focus. There you go, it's focusing. There you go. So you've got a Nordic uh, female star player there, I believe. Very nice. A uh, very cool little mini metal. So Gre Grebo seem to do a lot of metal as well as uh, resin slash plastic, which is pretty cool. We have a ogre, female ogre, star player. I'm hoping you can see that okay. It should be okay. That one there. Does that come through? Yeah, you got it. There you go. It's very cool. Serious weight of uh, metal there as well. And we've got another Nord uh, wearing the wolf uh, skin, wolf cloak on the top. Same again, very similar to the previous one, but very cool. Lots of detail. Grebo have done really well with the detail. She's got a nice, nice little necklace bits hanging off of her and things. Really, really cool. That's that. Um, we've got here, got another star player. I think this is one of the earlier Blood uh, Grebo Games Blood Bowl characters. I think she's meant to be a more well-known, established character from the from the Blood Bowl lore. Um, can't quite think of her name, but yeah, she's a. She's a, a Kind of got a pirate to be honest, got a sort of pirate look to Very cool. And um, we've got various Amazon. No, are these Amazon? These look look yeah. You've got a dry well, actually you have a dryad, you got a wood, you got literally got a tree lady type character there. Uh Willow Rosebark version, maybe. But that's her again, it's gonna be really cool to paint her. So again, these star player type characters I will be painting to a better detail. Um, than uh, the, the standard, but I'm going to paint all of them to the standard that I'd be happy with. Some more players there. We've got now this is. I do believe this is also the new Grebo, Grebo Games type plastic resin. It's 
all got a 3D printed type quality to it. I don't believe it is 3D printed, but it's got that sort of feel to it. It's got like a sort of ridged type feel to it, sort of thing. It doesn't feel smooth. Not in a bad way. It's not going to sort of affect the model. We can see the detail is really good, uh, really nice, really light. It's light, but it feels substantial. I don't know how they've done it. Like with other companies' models that shall not be named, they they can be they can feel really they can look really thin, really finely detailed, and feel very unsubstantial. Like your sneeze on, you're going to snap. But this doesn't. This is really nice, um, lovely detail. The face is fantastic. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the face is really good. It's really really cool. Um, so yeah. Yeah, good, and then we got similar repeats there as well. So I won't bore you guys to this for them, but that's that's them there. So that's I think that's all the character types. So in here we should have more of the standard. Yeah. So these are all the Amazons. See my uh, good friend. He's chosen an Amazon team, but with other miniatures. So actually, by combine, combining these different characters, you can actually cover a few different types of teams. So obviously, Amazons is the main True Blood team, um, but he can also do a few other teams, uh, like spin-off type teams, like a Dark Denizens, maybe, that sort of thing. Um, obviously, the Nordic type team, because you only need certain characters to make to make the difference to make a new team from similar model groups, such. And we have the Zote. Is it Zote? Zoot? I think it's a Zote. Grebo, blood Grebo, sorry uh, zote miniature really cool very detailed very nice I'm looking forward to painting this one actually it's gonna be really cool might save him to last it's something to look forward to in terms of painting um, I do like to break out my shell in terms of painting you know having an exciting model some standard type models and then go finish off an exciting model again that's always good got some what we got here oh, these are stunned these are ogre stunned uh, pieces uh, so they're smaller, obviously these are going to be ogres, but these are smaller sized ones, obviously. Um, and that is to help basically not lay down a massive metal ogre on the pitch and cause chipping or damage to the miniatures. So these guys are literally just to, you take the ogre off and put one of these down. Um, really fun, really cool. Yeah, really, really cool. So I'm going to put them up. And then what is a sorry little selection of miniatures because these are very much rinse and repeat types um, this is more just like I'm saying like a little showcase of what I'm going to be doing with these guys and you guys will see a video at the end uh, as we go along of how they've all finished off so we have an Amazon team we've got all different characters they're really, they're, they're, what's cool with this what's good with what Grebo have done uh, I'm trying to get a variety actually bear with me is they have <laughs> they've created slim Grebo female players, muscular Grebo female players, and some sort of athletic types, I suppose. They're trying to create a nice mixture. It's not just the typical geek dream of these heavenly, busty, like, women Blood Bowl players. They're actually trying to come up with something that looks a bit different, a bit more realistic, which is really cool, and I do appreciate that. So you've got a, uh, I'm not sure what this is, maybe a thrower or like a catcher type. But it's quite leaf looking. The design's really good, um, which is definitely leaf. Leaf lean sort of player, which is very cool, and then you've got more of the uh, strong thighed type character of woman here, more muscular, more sort of tough, maybe a blitzer type, or maybe just like a lineman type character. Um, blitzer, who knows? But yeah, that's cool. We've got a couple of stronger, more sort of like normal build. Type characters there, really good models, nicely sort of detailed. I do like this model leaning backwards actually. It looks like she's really she's going for like a throw. It looks like she's going for a throw. She's got like a gloved hand or something, a couple of gloved hands. And also she's obviously, obviously trying to reach back to catch it or she's gonna like lob something. A really cool model, really good pose. I'd love to know who sculpted these. I actually I actually have to have a little look myself on the Grebo website, see if there's any credits for who sculpts them, if it's just the person that runs Grebo. If they actually sculpt them themselves and sell them themselves, who knows? But they are very good. I don't think these are 3D sculpted. I know GW tend to do a lot of 3D sculpts through like an actual PC uh, type thing rather than physically sculpt them. Like the old Perry brothers used to in Trish Morrison. Um, but these guys strike me as being more actually sculpted by hand just because of the pose. The fact that 
they're not hugely dynamically posed and you have to build them through like weird ridiculous pieces i'd say these are physically sculpted so yeah and then we've got a few more in there a few more bits and bobs so yeah so this is going to be my next well next my first commission in a long time but this is going to hopefully be one that i can research from you know learn things from um work with my friend on a purely professional sort of basis there's going to be no give and take it's going to give me honest feedback you know we've you know we re he's, he's really helping me actually to be fair which is fantastic i really do appreciate it and hopefully it means this is something i can really take with me going forwards maybe you know it might not be i can make it full time it might be a case that it's just going to be a little part-time um addition which is what my intention is in the first place anyway which will just purely help with my sort of you know helping sort of money with the family and everything you know any extra money is always good money i'm um, obviously have to set up um, a tax account i'd assume if depends on how much money i make um so obviously you've got to pay the tax man you can't just make money on the side and not declare it because that's naughty um so yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes i'm um, very excited it's going to be awesome i'll keep you guys posted on how it goes and thank you for watching do appreciate it guys take care and uh i'm gonna have to put that camera off by moving it actually because it's facing me and i can't see what the screen's doing so i shall see you later guys oh no the wife's gonna help me <laughs> Ladies, thank you ever so much for watching guys take care i'll see you soon bye bye